Good morning, everybody. It's Good morning. day 26 of World Carnivore Month, and I am pretty pooped from having worked three days in a row. So uh, we just took me to Starbucks for my <laughs> for my venti dark roast. Michael got a just a shaken espresso. Shaken ex so espresso. espresso and half and half. And I also got my Tranta um, passion tea. Can you show him? I got the yeah. passion tango. tea. I will be sipping on this the whole day. That's yeah kind of been my little treat um, a couple times this lately. So anyway, welcome to day 26, January 26th. And You're we will- back for breakfast. I'm going back home shake. to make breakfast. I'm hungry. Um, and then we're gonna show you everything we eat today as animal-based carnivores. Low key for Jules Pretty today. low key. I'm not gonna be doing a lot today. So I'm pretty tired. Three in a row is a lot. I haven't done three in a row in a very, very, very long time. I'm way too old to do three 12 hour shifts in a row. <laughs> But I'm gonna rest and recover today because we've yeah. got a lot of uh, really cool plans coming yeah, up over the next week. So yeah. Um, yeah, we'll take you along for all of it. So our brown butter candy was only a little bit of a bust. Mm. Uh, it turned out way too salty, which is such a surprise because all the uh, videos we watched on it, I had watched videos Michael Hatton, but the ones I had watched said that you basically could not make it too salty. So we got a little heavy handed with the salt. So we're actually gonna use it now to cook. I've got three little pieces of it here and I'm gonna make three eggs and uh, four sausage links and make myself a little breakfast bowl. I'm gonna tell you, if Julie said it's too salty, it is not for mainstream humans <laughs> because she loves things salty. I, it was I do. very salty. I, get, I think I get this from my mom. I crave salt, I always have. Um, I was so proud of myself when I was in my 20s and I had completely weaned myself off salt and I didn't salt anything I ever ate. Because it um, was bad, right? I thought it was bad for me <laughs> and I was following, you know, dietary wisdom in the world and tell you what, I've never felt better since I heavily salt everything I eat. But wow, these little brown butter candies, you probably will try them again and we'll use unsalted butter and salt them or maybe we'll just use salted butter and not salt them. We haven't figured it out yet. but. Let me uh, get off here and scramble myself these three eggs and then I'll circle back and show you what I make. And while Jules is finishing making her breakfast, I wanted to show you um, my bulletproof collagen. I've been making sure to add this into my shake where uh, the hip's been a little sore the last couple of days. You see my supplements that I've got out here. And then, um, yeah, I've got my 32 ounces of water. So we're going to blend like we blend every day with our shake. And those eggs looking good over there. Oh yeah. And then see where the day takes us today. I gotta splash my whipping cream. Oh nice. And my yeah. shredded cheese in here. And yep. the cheese. Uh, we got Ab at the uh, at the dog groomer, and I'm getting a haircut later today. So yeah, I think we're just going to chill. We're we'll going to work a little bit. We're going to eat a little bit. See where the day takes I us. I have a friend who wants to go out mm -hmm. on a double date tonight. That's still up in the air because we're not sure if her boyfriend is going to be working or not. So. Either way, whether that happens or doesn't happen, we will be showing you everything we eat. We're gonna come underneath you there. If you know, you know. You see this? <laughs> White this <Christmas>. mug, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, see you back in a bit. All right, I've added the heavy whipping cream, shredded cheese. I got a nice little pile of scrambled eggs here. I'm about to add my sausages as soon as I get them cooked. A little breakfast plate. All right, here it is. Three scrambled eggs, big dollop of sour cream, heavily salted and four little sausages. It's a big breakfast, but I'm telling you, I am pretty hungry. I've had uh, chicken all week and I love chicken and the tikka masala tastes amazing. But after three days of nothing but chicken, sometimes I feel just a little bit, I don't want to use the word depleted like Michael uses, but I feel a little extra hungry and I'm really craving this, the beef and I'm craving eggs and I'm, the sausages sounded really good too. So today I'm going to try to focus on anything but chicken. I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Breakfast food when you're carnivore is so awesome because it's just a delicious taste, delicious variety, and uh, probably my favorite meal to make in any given day. Oh, for sure. For sure. It's got the most taste out of anything. Mm, so good. late in the day for me to have lunch, but we've been busy this morning. It's 1.30. 
Um, and I told them yesterday, I hadn't been back to the store to get any more of those pizza flat outs. And so I didn't today either, but I did go run in and get a bag of the jerky. I'm still cutting up that big block of, of cabbage cheese we had. So I'm gonna have some of that with it. And I did swing by and get some pickles too, which is probably more animal based than carnivore. But we've talked about the last couple of days and um, appetizing and, and non-appetizing things that I've been <laughs> eating. So this is what I'm gonna do for lunch. Um, I think Jules and I are going to go out to get dinner. So I'm not sure how much we're gonna be able to film, but we'll try to take a photo and at least talk about what we're going to eat yeah. with some friends this evening. But yeah, that's why I tried to stagger this because we're not going out until five or six. So um, I tried to stagger this a little bit later to be able to, uh, to have my lunch water. And um, I think that'll be it until we go out and then we're gonna come back and have our big dog kombucha, drink the rest of the growler this evening. And I think that'll do it for us. So this is my lunch. Thank you, Bubba. We are on our way to dinner um, to meet my friend that I've had dinner with the last few weeks and her boyfriend um, out for dinner a little bit early tonight actually. Michael has met her boyfriend I think once or twice before. I think only once, yeah. Yeah. But it's almost 5.30 so it's a little yeah. later than what we We're very we hungry. Eat, it's a little later than we would normally okay. be eating but they're, um, they've been moving all day. She's actually moving in with him so they just now finished loading the truck so we're going to go meet them. She used to live a very close to me, just right over this bridge, and she's actually moving up to Cocoa Beach, so she'll be quite a bit further away, but yeah. um, like 11, 12 miles. But we're going to a restaurant that Michael and I have been to before. And loved it. Love this restaurant. We, it's probably our favorite restaurant since that we found since we moved down to Melbourne. It's called mm -hmm. Squid Lips. It's on the, uh, the mainland, right on the river, right off of the causeway, actually. So I don't know how much filming will really be able to do at you know sitting down at dinner with our friends but we'll at least try to get a picture or something of what we eat our plan yeah, is we'll to order burgers it. and whatever we can put on top of it and then when we get back home we'll do a little video and catch you up let you know what we had so yeah I'm you excited. can show them we're coming yeah. up on you can show them the restaurant yep yeah, i sure will Good evening, guys. We're back from dinner. What time is it? Six? No, seven fifteen. Seven forty-five. Oh, wow. Okay. Abra's eating her. We dinner. talked a lot. You hear her little yeah. tag dingling <laughs> on her. I'm, I scrambled her an egg and put a sausage in it. So that's what Abra's eating. That is tonight. the best she gets tonight. She didn't get any leftovers from the restaurant because the food was so good. We cleaned our plate. Even, it was. Even the waitress. Did you show a photo proud. or? I have we... a little short video. Okay. <clears throat> Michael and I got the same thing. Yes. It's a burger. Um, and on top of the burger is a crab cake that's sauteed in butter. And then we got bacon and uh, bacon uh, on top of the crab cake. And then it was drizzled. Cheese, yeah. yeah, it was drizzled with a really good blue cheese. Blue dressing. cheese fondue, yeah. And then on the side, they actually had pickle spears for 25 cents. So both of us <laughs> got four pickle spears. We did. Um, we are carnivores who love our pickle spears. It was, it was um, really, really good. It was really good. I. If we had eaten any earlier in the day, like this didn't fill me up, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's going to be fine. We have our kombucha. This is the last of our big dog. I poured Julie's in an old bottle of, of, um, of ours and just poured the rest in this, in this shaker 
Big Dog is where it's at. <clears throat> I already can't wait to go back yeah. to another four hour. I think where we're going to Orlando on Saturday, we may go back tomorrow and do another small haul at Walmart. There were a couple of things that we could only find there, like the queso. The so, 18 count eggs. And the 18 count eggs. Brand. And then the sausage was a really good deal, uh -huh. that butterball sausage. So we may stop in there tomorrow. <laughs> um, but yeah, like Julie said, burger was great. Crab cake, it was crab and lobster. Very, very good. And um, definitely... The, the plates came out with potato chips. I actually didn't know that. I know, I didn't either. So um, I think they might have been in the video. I didn't eat any of them. No, but, we uh, that, really I thought that was funny that, that the burger came with a yeah, side of potato chips. I never heard of that. Literally, before. like like just some Lay's, just some plain Lay's on the side. But um, anyway, it was, it was good. Dinner was good. We both had uh, ice water. Got a little cool out there by the uh, by the river, but um, yeah, that's going to do us for the twenty sixth. Happy Thursday! This month is almost um, over. Absolutely crazy how quickly. Michael has a birthday on January thirty first, and that's always been a wild card for us because we weren't sure what we're doing as far as what we eat on his birthday because we we will always take time off of our diet to enjoy life when the time is right and the situation is right. So it being his birthday, we haven't decided what we want yeah, to do. Yeah. Um, we talk about it a two, lot. <laughs> two reasons. One is because it's not the end of the month. I don't really care that it's my birthday over completing the full 31 days. But also, two days after that, we are going to see friends and family in North Carolina because I have to go back into the office for a little bit. So we're trying to debate on how best to handle um, next week. So we're still deciding. And, um, of course, we'll let you know. We do have a couple of favorite bakeries up there in Charlotte, too. So um, we'll see. We'll see how the week goes. We'll see what happens. We've got uh, a really good friend that's a great baker as well. So I'm not sure how we're going to handle it. And a it. grandma who loves to go out And a grandma eat. who loves to go out to eat. So and we're going to figure it out. We have not really come up with our February plan for how we're going to do our diet either. Yeah, we were talking about we've that been, today. We've but... been mostly five or six days out of every week carnivore for a year now. This was the first time we had zero cheat days in a month <clears throat> and ate basically, other than this kombucha, more or less zero carbs. So this has been the strictest we've ever been for this many days straight. And we haven't really figured out for February what exactly we're gonna do to be at a nice halfway house between being this strict, which I love being this strict, but you also I do too, miss out but, on some life, life um, opportunities. Yeah. So we have to sort of pick and choose which ones are the ones we want to make allowances for. So we're still thinking what we're going to do for our... I do think we, we probably have concluded that we are going to be carnivore. We're not going to do animal-based. Um, animal-based doesn't really, doesn't really work for me. And the only reason exceptions. we count pickles is because <clears throat> they are fermented and we consider, I consider fermented product to be... But you don't. Um, I don't want to, animal product isn't the right word, but the, the fermentation process. Um, so anyway. Can, that, can they see her? Can they see? No, they can't see the lab news. There she is. <laughs> so we're still deciding on, on what to do, but I think whatever we decide to do, we're going to do it um, a major days out of the month as, mm. as strict carnivores. Uh, my body has adapted better than I thought it would after getting over a few humps with with exercising, and then Julie's absolutely thriving on it, so she this has is no the best issues. I felt in ten years, I did not feel. I'm 37. I didn't feel this good when I was 27, and then when I was 27, <laughs> I was in the throes of eating nothing but salad for two years straight. Stem, oh yeah. Stems, leaves, nuts, fruit. No salad dressing. Very little meat, if ever any meat, on my salad, and I felt horrible. Felt the worst. Yeah. Gained 10 pounds in a year. Um, I, worst I've ever felt. Carnivore makes me feel like I can, like I'm a battery bunch, like I'm 12 feet tall and bulletproof. Yeah. Everything I have is functioning at its highest ability. I have so much energy. Um, I, I really cannot believe the difference. We'll have to do a video after this. Yeah, we'll talk more about that at the end but of the month, I, I think, I on how we go forward. I can say that moving forward, I want to take it a little more seriously than I have before in the past. Because this is, um, this is making me feel incredible. No, it's been, it has. It's been a good month. Um. We'll make it a good week. Tomorrow will be Friday, of course. And uh, like we said, when we get into the weekend and into next week, we'll decide what we do, if anything, for, um, for my birthday. So I think that's going to do it for us today. Um, again, have a good evening. We'll be back again tomorrow. For what we ate. For what day. we ate on what day? There 27. That's what we ate on yeah. January the 26th. 26th. <laughs>
Happy World Carnivore Month, guys. Good night, guys. Bye.